After 25 years in council, one of the state's most popular local leaders, Ipswich Mayor Paul Pasali, has resigned. He arrived in a wheelchair to make the announcement where he blamed health concerns for his decision. But it comes amid a fresh investigation from the Crime and Corruption Commission. Political reporter Josh Bavis has more. There was no mayoral robe for his last media briefing as the civic leader, just pyjamas, socks and a dressing gown. It's um, a very sad day for me and a very emotional day. After 13 years as mayor and more than 25 years in local government, he's calling it quits. It's, at times like this, you sort of think, as a person who's always had a lot to say to the media, you think to yourself, where do you start? The shock move comes after Crime and Corruption Commission Police searched his council offices yesterday as part of a new investigation. Police sources have confirmed Mr Pasali was stopped at Melbourne Airport last month with $50,000 cash after a one-night trip on official business interstate. Well, the tri Triple C, that, as you know, over the years I've um, cooperated wholeheartedly with the, with the Triple C and I intend to continue to do that. But Paul Pasali says it's health reasons that are forcing him to stand down. For the last uh, 30 years, I've um, suffered multiple sclerosis. It is um, a, a very um, tough disease and a lot of people get it. And uh, I've been able to set an example in dealing with multiple sclerosis. Deputy Mayor Paul Tully will be stepping into the role temporarily and a by-election is expected within three months. Something that's only uh, happened basically in the last couple of days. Um, that's something that I would have to um, uh, consider as well. Um, I haven't given any commitment beyond you know, the next three months to be the acting mayor of the city. Last year, Mayor Pasali was re-elected with more than 80% of the vote. He's known for being an advocate of Ipswich and surviving four terms as mayor. In April, he faced a triple C hearing into alleged corruption at the last election, where he defended his reliance on developers to help fund his campaigns. His resignation officially comes into effect on Sunday. Josh Bavis, ABC News.